Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can work with dates in Microsoft Excel, how you can subtract dates, how you could add dates, and then I'm also gonna share a little bit of information about how dates work in the back end of Microsoft Excel. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump into it. Here I am on my desktop and I have Microsoft Excel open. And we're just gonna start working with dates here. Now the great thing about Microsoft Excel and formulas in Excel is that you can work with dates very easily. And so the first thing that I wanna show you how to do is first off, how to subtract dates. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show a quick example of how you can take your birth date and then subtract today's date from it. And that'll tell you how many days are left until your birthday. So let's go ahead and try this out. So for today's date, what we're gonna do is, well, today's date is 12, 29, 2019. So I could just type that in, or what I could do is, let's say I always want this to update as I'm using my spreadsheet. What I could do instead is I could type in today. Uh, this is a formula in Excel. And so the way you enter formulas is you enter equals today and then open and close parentheses and then we could hit enter. And so what that'll do is that'll insert today's date. And then if I come back tomorrow, it'll show that it's now 1230 and then the following day 1231. So it'll automatically increment based on the day that it is. Let's say that I wanted to lock this so it doesn't automatically update. What I can do is I'll click on uh, control C. So I'll copy this and then I'll go to paste. And what I'm gonna do then is I just wanna paste the value. So if I go to paste value, you'll see that the formula has gone away and now it just keeps that date static. Um, so that's one day that I could keep it. I just undid that so um, it'll show today again. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna enter in my birthday. Uh, my birthday is August 11 and it's coming up on August 11, 2020. And that's the next time my birthday takes place and I'm gonna hit enter. So how many days are in between August 11 and then today 1229. Well, what we could do is the great thing is you could simply take one date and subtract another date from it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter a formula and to do that, I'm gonna type in the equal sign. That's how you always enter a formula in Excel. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select cell B3, that's my birthday. So my birthday is farther out than today. So we wanna take the bigger number and subtract the smaller number. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna subtract today's date from my birthday. So B3 minus B2. And then I'm gonna click on enter and it tells me that there are 226 days left until my next birthday. So I'm, I get to be this age for a little while longer before I get older again. Now, one of the things that's interesting, so here you'll see these dates in Excel. Uh, the way Excel calculates the numbers in between these, so here if I click on, I just uh, clicked on my right mouse button and what I could do is I could go to format cells. Right now it's set to the date format, but I could also just go to number format and I'm gonna do no decimal places and then click on okay. So Excel, what it does is it takes 8-11-2020 and it takes today's date of 12-29-2019 and it converts these into a number. And so here you'll see that my birthday is on basically day 44,054 and then it subtracts today's date, which is 43,828 to get 226. Now, interesting fact about Excel, Excel starts its dates on January 1st, 1900. So if I type in 11, 1900, uh, so I've entered a date, but if I now format that to a number, you'll see that this is day one. Um, so day one is in the early 1900s, or is 1900. I'm gonna go ahead and let's format these back to a date. So I'm gonna go ahead and format these as a date again, and there we go, so the date shows up. Now what you can also do is this example is subtracting dates from one another. What I can also do is I can add dates, so here, uh, you know, I have a Sonicare toothbrush at home and they always recommend using it for about, I think it's about maybe three months or so before replacing your toothbrush head. But when that is, this is always a mystery to me. I always just keep going until it looks like it's gotten a little older. Uh, but today, maybe I could use a spreadsheet to really help me stay on top of that. So what I'll do is, let's say I installed a new toothbrush head today. So 1229, uh, 12, uh, 2019. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in. What I could also do is I could type in now. That's another formula. Uh, that'll give me today's uh, date and time. So I entered that in, so 12-29-2019. And what I can do then is I'm gonna type in a formula, so we'll do equals today's date, and let's see, I think they always recommend about three months, so that's about 90 days. So I'm gonna add 90 to it. 
So I'm taking this date and then adding 90 days. And so now what it tells me is that's end of March. So 3-28-2020 is in about 90 days. Uh, and so this will remind me, okay, so I need to replace my toothbrush head on this date. Now I showed two different formulas as we were going through this. One of them is today. I'm gonna to go ahead and type that in. So type in that formula. And then I'm also gonna type in this other one I typed in, which is now. What's the difference? Well, the difference is today will show you just the date today. Now will not only show me the date, but it'll also show me the time. So it gives me a little extra detail um, when I type in either one of those formulas. But those are two different ways uh, where you could get the current date and or time to show up. All right, well, that's how you work with dates in Microsoft Excel. You could very easily add dates, you could subtract dates, uh, and hopefully you're an expert working with dates in Microsoft Excel now. If you feel like you are an expert working with dates, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you wanna see me cover on my channel in the future, leave a comment down below. I take a look at them and I'll add that to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.